Chapter Three. The next morning, Lisa wakes up early and goes downstairs. Aunt Elizabeth and George are waiting for her in the kitchen. Good morning, Lisa. Aunt Elizabeth says, "Come and have some breakfast. I made pancakes with syrup and bacon and eggs. You must eat a good breakfast because you have a busy day today." Yes, we do," says George. We are going to rent bicycles and ride around Central Park. What do you think? Wow, George, that's a great idea," says Lisa. They eat their breakfast, say goodbye to Aunt Elizabeth, and leave. They take the subway to the Fifty Ninth Street stop. They exit the subway, and go straight to the bike rental shop. They get their bikes and begin their journey. It's so beautiful here, George. Lisa says, "You can't see any buildings at all, just trees and grass." Yep. Well, New Yorkers come here to relax and get away from the city. Many tourists come too. In fact, Central Park is the park with the most visitors in the United States. They ride past beautiful gardens and a big lake. Many people are sitting on the grass, having picnics and enjoying the nice weather. They also ride past the zoo and see snakes, penguins, and even sea lions. After some time, they stop and eat some lunch. How about a hot dog, Lisa? asks George. Sure, I'm really hungry, says Lisa. George buys two hot dogs and two sodas. They sit on a bench and enjoy their lunch. Then they get back on their bikes. George, look! Lisa shouts. There is a note in the basket of my bike, and a little statue of Liberty. Lisa reads the note. Welcome to New York. I'm glad you are here. Here is a clue and your first souvenir. Go to this place, and you will see just how beautiful Lady Liberty can be. George, Lisa says, "Did you do this?" "No, Lisa. I was next to you the whole time," says George. "Well, this is really strange," says Lisa. "Who can it be?" "I don't know, but we'll find out. Tomorrow we are going to visit Lady Liberty." They return the bikes and take the subway home. Lisa can't wait for tomorrow.